mwanga wangu niangazi siku moja nilitoka kole ngakuta wamefunga nyumba kulikuwa winter kuna nyesha hiyo area si poa sana hata wale wiko poa sana kama gera ya huko eh na ni na ni jioni nimeelekea six i am lady outside by herself walking up and down not safe Thank God for this guy. Kwa sababu yeye alinipikia sima kanisa uko poa. Namwambia uishe. Niko hapa nje sijaingia. Kanisa kwa nini? Nikamwambia kwa sababu sijua kwa wapi. Kasema una credit. Nikamwambia hata sijua credit wewe kwa wapi. Akaniambia acha niwapigie simu. Kawapigia simu akasema wako mbali sana. Sawa. Kwa place ni to bad oak. Mbali sana. Ati na warudi hiyo siku. Sasa kaniambia sha. Utadu. Mwambie sasa sijui akarembo kuja St John's Wood kuchukua mm. fungua nyumba yangu ndio kalala yeye mwenye akojo eh alikuwa job magivo ndivyo ndio kwenye majani mabichi hello everybody welcome to the music stories my name is magivo blessing thank you for always tuning in thank you for being a blessing to us don't go nowhere today we have an international guest karibuni sana <laughs> Mwanga wangu niangazie maisha yangu siangamie mamba wangu nisimamishe ya tetezi nipiganie mwanga wangu niangazie maisha yangu siangamie mamba wangu nisimamishe ya tetezi nipiganie Kwenye majani mabichi ni laze kando ya maji maturivu ni pande matunda ya roho ni zae miguni mwako nikae kwenye majani mabichi ni laze kando ya maji maturivu songwriter and also a preacher of the word of god mm. and i'm here at wema tv mm. with the magi blessings you come and meet them and see me and see ya i'm your host but i love her all the same <laughs> most important nimeokoka yesu ni born amen karibuni kwenye mitanda hey tumwabudu hallelujah amen kumbe unaezongea tuele tu kizuri tena sani hey ebu tueleze wewe ni mzaliwa wa wapi <laughs> kwa sababu kuna jina la pili hapo wenye lazima ukwe huko born again delivered lazima ungeenda hapo ili jina la pili ni mimi nilizaliwa huko uh. kutu Kenya 
maeneo ya Kiambu kavile yeah. jitu hapo hivyo tu mimi mshamba baadaye mshamba na hiyo jina eh hiyo zina kwa Kiambu jina tutafika tu eh sasa lizalo Kiambu mm-hmm. in a place small mm-hmm. village called mm-hmm. Rebai yes in the out, out, outskirts 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 yeah. <laughs> in the outskirts of Kiambu mm-hmm. ama the suburbs of Kiambu yes, ndio yes. eh na nikalelewa hapo mm-hmm. and mpaka kwenye nimefika mm-hmm. And then nilipomaliza form 4 yes eh nikafikiria nikatafute maisha so maisha alinipeleka UK yeah. nikiwa 19 but najua UK mm. na Kiambu ya kule different uko kina uko <laughs> kwa UK ni gani UK ugenda ni UK ile ya kweli ya lango na mimi ni UK uko kina sasa <laughs> nafikiri yenye nilienda ni ukweli <laughs> Kwa sababu hata niki, nikibonga hapa kimoni moni eh. ama kimombo eh. utajua kweli mtu ametoka yes. eh. eh. so hiyo ndio time ulitoka Kiambu yes. you left Kiambu straight straight to the UK i had never been to Nairobi apart from to process my Paper. paperwork mm-hmm. and also vile tu mtu inatutao tafuta vitu hivi nini mm-hmm. but never lived in Nairobi never lived in i have Europe. never mimi mshamba kabisa Nimezaliwa nikakaa ushambani, mm. nikaenda shule mashambani, mm. nikaenda shule mashambani ta zaidi secondary school mm. na huko Kagwe. Mm. Alafu kutoka tu shule tu hivi. Mm. Pilika pilika za kutafuta makaratasi. Mm. UK. Okay, Ivo nilikuja kama nimevuta nimevuka Kiambu, nikavuka Nairobi ndege. Kapanda ndege yes. straight from Gishagi. From Gishagi to the UK. To the UK. This is these are the only things God can do. Yani, yani kuna vitu ambavyo vinafanyika ni mm, Mungu tu. Mm. Nikiomba mimi nilikuwa naomba Mungu mm. siku moja hata mimi anifikishie mm. nirudingi Geshagi yeah. kama nimetoka Nairobi exactly. ama Mombasa mm. ama Ngalota na Kuru yeah. MD. Yaani umetoka mbali umerudi tu Geshagi hata yeah. wewe Christmas yeah. watu waojue umetoka. Mm. Lakini Mungu akaona Mungu akaitoshi Nairobi. Na Aitoshi na kuru aitoshi ati Mombasa mm. akanitoa tu akanivukisha hapo ukavuka mpaka UK how was the experience like your first time in the UK i think um a lot of people have a lot of expectations yes. of what UK mm. should offer mm. and we have a look of what UK should look like mm. we've watched movies yes. sasa na movies inaonekana ni kama paradise yes, so yes, yes. my dear mm. that picture mm. uanguka ukifika ukifika kwa ndege ume, ume land umetoka mm. tu hivyo mm. the picture of abroad mm. inakuangushanga tu hapo the disappointment is tangible like unaweza hata cheese yani mbako uko hii ndio uk yenye mbaka juu yenye nilikuwa nataka hivi hii ndio uk inakuangushanga kabisa mm. yes it's beautiful yes ikatai mm. the infrastructure is really good mm. everything is okay mm. the social life though mm. apesa is zilch uh, mm. na sasa when you went to the uk mm. were you born again i was at a, i was a catholic I was raised mm-hmm. born raised in the Catholic Church. Yes. Si semeti wa Catholic ya waombi Mungu. Yeah, yeah wanaomba mm-hmm. sana. Yeah. And my mother is still a Catholic mm-hmm. and she's my prayer partner yes. and she holds me mm-hmm. spiritually a lot. Mm-hmm. So siezi sema wa Catholic ya waombi. Mm-hmm. Lakini wa, kuna mbinu za kuomba mm-hmm. different. Yes. Sasa hii ya kiroho mm-hmm. sikuwa nimeingililia nikienda Catholic nikienda UK. Lakini kwa airport mama yangu alinishikisha Bible Biblia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Akaniambia hii ndio itakufuata mm. hii ndio itakuongoza mm. hii ndio itakufanyia kila kitu yeah. kisikia umekosa mtu umenikosa hata mm. shika hii bibilia ita kushikilia yeah. and it helped me a lot mm. although it's a lonely life mm. i remember feeling extremely Or you lonely. got homesick I, i did yes mm. i did mm. alafu homesick kuja kwa sababu hata hakuna mtu anakushikilia so if mm. i tell you my story how i landed mm. hata mwenye alikuwa anakuja kunichukua kukuja oh. and i'm a 19 year old at Gatwick airport mm. na hakuna mtu amekuja kukuchukua oh. so nimerelisiwa kila kitu immigration men release mm. i'm supposed to go sasa mm. you're free to enter the uk yes. but nobody came to pick you up so what did you do sasa like in a foreign land <laughs> yes in a foreign <laughs> and you're a teenager Jeez. you just you've never been anywhere yes yeah i've never traveled mm. and me i was sheltered see so my parents yes. i am very sheltered yes yes i was very very sheltered mm. like really like really really mm watched yeah those children who are born watched 
raised yani mpaka id lazima wabe rusa ya kutoka ya kutoka na yani i was really sheltered hata mm-hmm. id yangu mm-hmm. babangu alinipatilia kwa yeah, ni wale watoto mimi nilikuwa ni nimespoiliwa yani i'm spoiled uh, na sasa ndio mimi huyu niko uk guy yako peke yangu mm-hmm. sina hata nini niko na travelers travelers checks yes. nimepewa na babangu mm. so my father has always been so protective yeah. extremely mm. na mimi ni ndio mama ya mama ya mke wake ah sasa alikuwa ameni alafu ninafanana na mamangu wow. sana sasa akiniangalia na nani kama mama yeah. ina you know ina yani ananipenda hata wale wa babangu ananipenda sana yeah. so yani ikakuwa ni protecting sana. So imagine you may land mm-hmm. uko peke yako. Mwenye alikuwa amekuchukua. And it happens a lot by the way. Kiske story. Mm-hmm. Kipigo story na watu wa diaspora yeah. utaambiwa. Sasa si wa blaming. Mm-hmm. Now that I've lived there. Yeah. I understand why people have a hard oh, time Lord. just speaking somebody up because sababu tunafanyanga budget sana. You know a lot of people think there is money raining in the in the, in the diaspora. Yes. Like not just the UK the diaspora. Yeah, Unataka kienda pa Uganda, mm. utoke tu hivyo vuke. Mm. Ah wewe ni una mapesa leta. Yes. So diaspora yeah. is expected it's a, it's a ni kitu watu wanafikiri anga iko. Yes. But that's not how it is. Mm. People budget, people yeah. tighten belts all the time depending on what's happening mm. with the economy. Yeah. So ku accommodate mtu mm ni story because eh ni hata ni na alafu kwa commodity hiyo mtu atakuja achukue ninyo yako mm-hmm. achukue schedule yako ai 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 yeah. unajua tunafanyaga kazi 24/7 mm-hmm. sasa sema we ni wa usiku mm-hmm. mtu amekupigia simu umetoka kazini okay. unataka okay. ulale kwa sababu unarudi mm-hmm. ati niko gatwick uh, yani amekudire lazima utafute vile uta cancel job mm-hmm. ukuze alafu uwezi kuza umweke tu kwa nyumba kwa foreign land around. lazima umshow around so mm-hmm. yani na every single day in the diaspora means you're losing money yeah. and you're losing money that you need you need kwa sababu bills are like clockwise every week and you have to pay them mm-hmm. ukwa kunanga ati uambie landlord ni yakalilie mm-hmm. nitakuja kulipa hapana mm-hmm. the landlord if you don't pay ni koti mm-hmm. kwanza mm-hmm. ni koti you ended up you end up with litigations it takes two months for you in the diaspora to be homeless two months two months so you're here in the so me I'm, i'm in gatwick sielewi hizi dynamics nimekwambia na ndogo sasa kizungu nilikuwa na ji na jameni najua kizungu ukafika huko yeye ndani nikafika huko sasa unaongelesha kitu na mwanza i'm sorry what na sasa hizo siku anasema i'm sorry what sasa hizi kizungu yangu itonisho zimeisha sasa unamuuliza sorry ala kuuliza tena Young lady mm. what are you doing here una mambo eh una mambo young lady what? would you like me to get a cup for you na mambo za i'm sorry mm. what <laughs> uko tu hivi na mambo taxi alafu na jao hata ninajua ni nini ni nini na mambo taxi au malizangi sasa hata taxi unaenda wapi na kwanza ujue uk mm. wanaongeanga if instead of bata wanasema ba ba mm. ba kuna wenye waliona ikileta shida yeah. ya tiktok atifa yeah. ni vanta yeah, yeah. vanta <laughs> Kena kena fanta. Is it if it's not a fan a as a fanta. Kena ba fanta. Kena ba bata. Yeah. So only say you guys into to it. Sasa okay. Sasa wewe ukiju unaenda maju. Si unaendanga kwa 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 kijiji yenu. Mimi sijui about kwenu. Lakini kwa kijiji yetu kuna wale watu unajua uko kuna mtu wa UK. Uko kuna mtu wa UK. Ama sasa zingine unafikiria ngani UK unakuta ni US. Mm-hmm. Sasa unaenda unawatembelea jioni na ni usiku mm-hmm. kwa giza watu wasijue sana sikuwa nataka hii jani ijulikane yeah. na watu. So nikaenda ma, ma, ma mnyumba kadha. Mm-hmm. Hai, mnajua naenda UK na waonesha nimebebana na passport na wasifikirie ni mongo. Naonesha mpaka na visa. Mm-hmm. Na mko alikuwa amenibariki by the way, mm-hmm. make got 3 years visa straight. Whoa. Na kukuwa hii ilikuwa 2000 na kukuwa ngao alikuwa anapenda 6 months. Mm-hmm. Mimi nenda kani nimepoa 3 years. Mm-hmm. So naonesha mpaka visa mwe I'm going for a long time. Yeah. Sasa wananipatia nini? Wananipatia manamba za watoto wao wenye wako UK mm. na angalau wananipatia kaka kitu pelekea pelekea mtu. So unajua kama umebebana na vitu mm. sasa hizo hao watu mm. ndio nili whatever nili kulikopiga mm. nilipiga wenye wali, niliona ni, unajua sasa unafanya, unafanya mini 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 mo. Nani? <laughs> nani anakaa kana anaweza nichukua yeah. hata anaweza tu nikufa na mimi. Nikona a neighbor of mine mm. walikuwa watu wa karibu sana. Yes. Au at least hawezi 
kataana mimi yeah. nafa nikikuna nikute wako vizuri mm. sita si at least sita choma eh sita choma mm. so na nikona at least tuko karibu sana hawezi nikata yes. sana nikawapigia sema kushtuka mm. unaweza shikoko wapi naambia si huku si ni namba ya uk naambia uko wapi naambia niko gati kwanza wakanyamaza eh tashtuka sasa huo day mm. na nimshukurungu sana i love her so much mm. juzi ameokoka ni beshte yangu sana alikuwa wow. kwa show yangu she came i ako huku pia hata i think ako huku bado so alikuja kwa me akaniambia shikuko na pesa umeshikilia mm. nikamwambia babangu alimpatia tu pesa hapa mm. akaniambia chukua cab nguja mpaka Hans West ah. sasa hata unajua uko ni wapi sio nendo nikachukua taxi <laughs> Nikaenda kwa Hans West mm. wakanichukua they used to live in a place called Slough mm. they were the first people to accommodate me in the UK wow. and they showed me around mm. and out ndo lipigia sasa ule msichana alikuwa anafaa ni accommodate mm. wakampigia wakamwambia mm. eh, sasa wakaniambia nimpigie nikampigia at, at first mm. ni, nilikuwa nazungumza Kiswahili hata kama nilikuwa mshamba fulani mm. nilikuwa nimekataki kuyu ah. nilikuwa nimekataa hizo unajua watu sasa nilikuwa nazungumza sana sheng ama swa ama mm. nini english. english sasa wakasema akaniambia ukipigia next time usi, usizungumze kizungu ama kiswahili ama nini yeah. kikuonge kikuyu mm. sasa mimi nikagonga kikuyu mm. and imagine that woman came and picked me up kizungu ndio ilikuwa inafanya asikuje kukupea edo sikuwa na pedo so onesha uko tuende unajua <laughs> <laughs> in is serious in is serious no you are in the okay you may yeah. umepenya 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 mziki ni ingilia wapi kwa hii barabara sasa ni mengi nili nilipo land tu mm. nili land mm. sasa kwa pilika za kutafuta maisha eh hao wenye walikuwa ni walikuja kuni accommodate mm. wakani disappoint two weeks two weeks later mm. nilitoka kule nikakuta wamefunga nyumba kadis oh, kakupatia story yangu yake ndefu sijui kama tianzia wacha agusa kidogo tu agusa kidogo sasa alafu mm. the day the night uh, alinichukua mm. kulikuwa sasa unajua sasa siku siku nimeokoka na si yeah. kuokoka nimeokoka baadaye sasa naweza yeah. ongea about my life before definitely so nika nilikuwa nasikia anga kuna club 19 Mm. Sasa mimi nikauliza hii club 19 ninakuanga wapi? Mm. Kwa maana ina kipana ita up to me. Mm. Kwa fema sana. Yes. Sasa ka uchali yake mm. akaniambia unataka kwenda club 19. Mm. Kasema eh, sasa tukaenda wote. Mm. Tulipoenda wote, I think hiyo ilikuwa ni weekend ya kwanza ma, ya, ya kwanza tu. Mm. Tukaenda wote. Sasa mm. usiona nionesha London, mm. anapeleka Central London za zile kuko na light. Yes. Tukielekea kutenda club 19 tukapitia Central London, ndio yeah. ile light za London. Yeah. It's really beautiful, beautiful by the way in the night. Ni ilikuwa you know time like ya Christmas so na Christmas kwetu inaanza Oktoba umeanza ku decorate yeah. city. So ninashangaa mimi because nimefika Oktoba. Oktoba so, already. Eh, eh, lights eh, light ziko na ma Christmas mafadha Christmas yani nao wanasambaza Christmas is coming. Yeah. Christmas is coming baka ma shops kila kitu. Mm, this is Christmas. Mango, ni Christmas sasa. Mm. So nikaona it's maajabu. Mm. Nikaenda sawa alafu nikapeleka kwa club 19. Mm. Huko kukakuwa na skasheshe mm. bila watu wakikuja tu wakaharibi waka wakakosana au yeye girlfriend na boyfriend mm. walipokosana. Sasa hapo ndo sasa ule kijana alinioa aliingililia. Aliona kasichana na na de mwingine hapo mm. she was older than me a little bit lakini bado ni alikuwa msupa sana mm. na kawa la low sasa akakuta kaingilia sasa hata tangu leo sijui alikuwa anataka nani mimi kama <laughs> wala low si <laughs> alitanganyikiwa hata <laughs> anatushughulikia si wao yinyi wote sasa akatambia sasa akakuja mimi sasa niko na tukucha na kupunga poa nasema hi how you guys you alright mm. your boyfriend should not have done that mm. Sasa ni na tu. Wewe unafikiria sasa? Yeah. Some other boyfriend should have done that. Mm. Do you want me to buy you water? Do you want some water? Mm. He yeah. akasema ndio tukanolewa maji. Mimi kasema pia mimi nataka maji kanolewa. Mm. Asema are you guys going home? Mm. Tukasema tutachukua basi. Akasema no. Girls mm. like you should not take a bus. We we'll take a cab together. Hey. Si tukachukuliwa cab. Eh. Hey. Mimi ninamjua. Eh. <laughs> Sana mjua. Uh-uh. Hey tukaingia kwa gari eh. tukaingia kwa kwa gari mm. akasema au oh, come off city rich sasa mimi sijui huku ni wapi came later to realize it was an elite place in 
London mm. na ito city richama old street asa matatokeleza hapo mm. hakutoka yeah. sisi tulikuwa tunaenda mpaka Queens Park mahali kunaitwa Queens Park Kilburn mm. tukaenda mpaka huko chali bado yuko kwa gari mm. tukatoka tuka sote tukaamba tena mpaka kwa nyumba mm. esa kaniambia huyu ni mgeni wako yeah. <laughs> amuliza mgeni wako hmm? eh yeah. tukaenda tukakaa chini kwa sitting room mm. tukaongea akaniambia i know you're shocked mm. i know you're new in the country mm. uh, i really like you Um, and I know you don't, you're not going to be trusting people right now mm. but I'm going to be good uh, I'm going to do good by you mm. and kafikira tu ni kuongea akasema don't worry I'm going home nimekufikisha nyumbani kumbe alikuwa anataka ajue maisha wapi yeah. bas yakaenda akachukua akachukua cab akarudi kwenye alikuwa anaenda mm. si ilikuwa ni saa tu mm. mande asubuhi mm. ndio wiki jana kwa mlango eh yeah. You're right. Mm. Kama wewe mimi more right. Mm. Akasema nimerudi. You didn't ask me you're shocked. Ngamwambia yeah. mm. You didn't think I would come back did you? Ngamwambia no. Mm. Akasema I don't like your hair. <laughs> I've been thinking was... about your hair. Okay. You're a very pretty girl but, but the hair. hair. Yes. So we're going to go do your hair. Eh? At the London. In London. Yeah. Really? Yes, take me to do hair. Tade. Kapele kwa kanembe I notice you don't have winter clothes. What are they? No. So sasa si ngoza bari. Mimi nimekuja na na kesha kwanza. Kanairo. Kanairo Kanairo wa. Zari abai. Kanairo amejaribu. Mimi nimetoka na za ushamba za gishagi. Eh. Akaniambia you don't have I notice you don't have winter clothes. So I'm going to I'm going I'm also going to go take you shopping. Yeah. So mimi kana nikatengenezwa box braids. Hata eh. wa leo eh. sijaitengenezwa box braids. Okay. Poa kama hizo. Yes. Alilipa 70 pounds in the year 2000. That was a lot of money. Wait. That was a lot of money. Chaleli kwa me jaribu. Okay. Ameweza. Eh hey, wewe alikuwa ameweza. Na mimi hata sioni akisema 70 pounds na nasikia ni kama 70 shillings. <laughs> hata si braids. Right. Okay. Hata simra kushtui. Alafu kwanza alikuwa chali mfupi na mimi sipendi wafupi. Sasa hata nakaangalia na sema sasa itakuaje. Sorry, it's not like I don't like <laughs> short men. Kila mtu kuna spec yake. Mimi I'm a big girl. Yeah. So I like a man who towers over me. So that's why I was thinking you want someone you're looking up to. Yes. See somebody you look down. See, hapana wanti ko. That's But my sister. Nice. <laughs> that's my sister speaking eh. Hey. <laughs> he was really kind. Mm. He was really nice. Yes. And he talked when he talked to he talked good. He talked a good number. Sasa kwa Ron anasema okay we should get refuka to keep down. Sasa ilifika mahali na hii ndio kitu will happen mm. by the way a lot of women who agree with me. Mm. Unajua kuna mahali inaweza fika unasahau alikuwa mfupi alikuwa ile upendo na kuonesha yeah. Yeah. is too much. Mm. So unasahau alikuwa mfupi mnono ama akwa mm. spec yako. Yeah. Unasahau ukimwangalia unaona tu akiwa mwana. Akosa. Sawa. Hata watu wakijaji kutana na watu na shina wao nitoa na wapi? Yeah. Kadema ama nishaachana na realize. Uh, ama ukiachana nishaiacha chalis kumoja nikamwona kivuka po kiambu. Niko. Eh? Nilikuwa nafanya nini na usi? Huyu alikuwa ametoka wapi? Ujaji going there. We are not taking that. Ujaji kwa dam ni saizo mko na yule kuna. Alikuwa anasema. Kasi ya kuona. Kuna mambo kwa siku. Fudi na kwa kama mchanga. This year has been a different turn. This one is not Kenya. So guys. Eh? So wewe na umelipa 70 pounds. Anyway, jokes aside mm. here. Yeah. Aka akanunulia mangoti wa tune of almost 1000 pounds. Oh. Winter clothes, yes. Now that's big money. Hey. Yeah. Oh, nimse ado jam draw for a man. Ati days Oh. Na kan anembea sina haraka ako hapo na ngoja. Mm. Nikarudishwa nyumbani. Eh. I niliporudishwa hata wote maliniuliza umefika tu huku. Mm. Ndio jaka. Mm. Watu wameku anza hata kukunulia manguo mm. kutengeneza nywele mm. nini. Kwani how lucky are you? Nikaambia hawafanyangi hivyo. <laughs> si Akasa, watu huku hawafanyangi. Sasa <laughs> mimi sijui. Nimekaa huku siku ngapi? I don't know. Mm. See, I didn't know they don't do that here. Yeah. Akasema it's very hard. Mm. Mtu kutoa pounds zake kufanya kitu. Mm. Unichalipo, 
mboa sasa kaanza ku take notes eh akuachia hapo sasa si nikapeleka shule i was going to the london school of commerce yeah nikaanza shule nikaonesha kwenye nilikuwa kwanza yani na chekanga sana siku hizi nikifikiria nilipelekwa nikaonesha shule kwenye iko but in the uk houses look similar sasa ile landmark mimi nilieka kumbe kuna nyumba zingine kadhaa nyuma ama zinafanana nilikuwa natokanga mbali na itembea na tafuta shule na ikosa oh. saa zingine narudi sikwenda shule kwa eh kwa sababu ulikosa mm. narudi tu na tafuta kwa vile nitarudi as long as ni queens park mm. narudi tu na jikuta sikwenda shule kwa sababu umepotea nilipotea lakini utaki kuambia kwa sababu utaki kuwa sumbu mm. na utaki kuwa msumbufu wa ku wakuchoke mm. so uko hivi uko tu you yani have you have to submit ni akumbuka ni kwenda hapo walipika samaki sana na mimi kuli samaki mm. na siwambi na lala nja sina kunywa chai na lala oh. na si semi kwa sababu nisitaki wafikirie na ari usikwe bade nani apendi samaki kila mtu penda samaki yeah. lakini yeah. na ni delicacy na wanapika kwa sababu mchele yake alikuwa mduo anapika yani anapika amepika ime yeah. ime imepikwa ni samaki imepikika na mimi kuangalia tu samaki hivi i want to vomit mm. siwezi kula so, so na siko isema na kupata tu example yeah. sasa sa zingine when you go to a foreign place mm. you are rendered helpless yeah. yeah and especially when you are young also when you're not very exposed yeah. it makes even things worse mm. so actually i think i can notice the next time anakuja kuniona alikuja kaniona shule akaniletea simu siku hizo atakukua simu huku uh-huh. sasa mimi niko na simu hey, dada kwani ulikuwa unaomba ukiangalia kimzinga kilikuwa kinatosha na hii mm. lakini ni simu simu umeomoka ndio yeah. nani kama mimi ah phone wow a mobile phone mm. na na haraka mm. anipeleka out mm. kanirudisha mpaka nyumbani mm. isa ilikuwa wiki ya kwanza yani we mambo yanakufanyikia wiki haraka 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 wiki ya kwanza fast nime nime nimeata kuchukuliwa alafu sasa nikachukuliwa mm. alafu bado sasa mimi naona kama Mungu amenitumia malaika kabisa yes mm. alafu ile siku nilikuwa na shule nilikuwa naenda mm. ilikuwa na u, package ya ukienda mm. unaweza fungua account unaweza chukua enai mm. yani hizo ni national insurance vitu za kufanya kazi yeah. sasa lakini lazima uoneshe na wenye wanaishi unaishi Uko. nao ni wapi yeah. sasa unaambiwa this sema uambiwe equity umefika tu Kenya mm. enda equity tukafungua kwa utaitoa lazima mtu akushike mkono mm. akwambie ndio hii equity mm. wale watu niko nao awaniambi equity hawana shughuli hawana shughuli kila mtu kwa pilika zake na ni mm. nazukwa mingi mm. so niki nastaki tena kuwashukumu kuwashukumia sana wasi ni tena wasi nichoke wow. sasa na na, na, na request tu Huyu huyu chali ndio aliona huu demand. Mungu alijua. Sasa anachukua day off. Mm. Ah, anapeleka na twist na fungua account. Yes. Ananipeleka huko kwa kuchukua maenai na kaenda nikachukua national insurance zangu. Sasa sasa ni siniko na hizo zote. Yes. Naweza sasa anza kufanya ka, kazi. kazi. Sasa tena address. Mm. Uchali wa huu demand mm. akasema nisitumie address yao. Okay, yes. Sasa utafuta je kazi na una address mm. ulaya sawa so, no, nikaanza kuna kuna frustrations yeah. mimi lakini si sehemu kitu mm. ni uko tu sawa na usemi hata uwezi piga simu Kenya ukipiga simu unapiga simu anza kuambia kina eh hata sio tu wakuambia urudi mm. wewe umeenda majuu uko majuu vile ulitoka tu kwa ndege mm. sasa wewe ni ATM unafaa kwanza kutuma madai kwanza washaanza kushindwa umekaa wiki mbili hujatu <laughs> Hey my people from Kenya. Eh eh. Wiki mbili na hujatuma. Na ulienda maju. Sasa hizo hata kwa kulala nikashesha. Hauna. Hauna. So what do you do? get people about abroad? Wamekataa kukupea address. Eh. Yeah. Where are we going from? Sikiza. Sasa si nikanyamaza. Tunaenda tuna apply job na patiana address za ule mama alini accommodate wa kwanza oh. slau. Na sasa hizo ni kama hapa na Kisumu. Jesus. Sasa uwezi pewa kazi. Sasa agency aziniti kazi because mm. that is very yeah, far. Ni fa. Wanashika utakuanga unatoka slow kuja Kilban kazi kwa hivi. Hapana. Sasa na hata job. Mm. Na sina ujanja ya. Sina ujanja ya. Eh si na sina tunanga time hiyo kukachina titi ndio tisawishan. Kila mtu is on the move that's the UK for you. By the way it's not just the UK. A lot of diaspora countries are yes. like that. Maybe here somebody will be educated. Mm. You will know even when you're sending your children, yeah. send them to relatives. My people don't send them to just anybody. Mm. Atibeshte, 
people there hawana hawana time relatives wenye pia tu yeah lakini at least ni relative there is accountability there mm. una understand mm. hata relative hata kikukata kuna accountability lazima atakujana hata lazima ataoneshana uso uso huko kwenu kwa hivyo mm. there is ako kakitu atasikia kidogo alisa atakuweka one month or two kabla mm. achoke mm. lakini mtu stranger mm. huyu hata anijui ilikuwa connection ya sister yake mwenye wajiona na mamangu na nini ana accountability oh, una understand mm. so ana shinota ana ana kusidia nini mm. yes na nina understand now i get it why you get it? kwa nini hata why should she even say help me she has no she has no obligation Ooh. she was good she was actually i thank her that she took me in for those two weeks in what to reach alafu after about two weeks miss sasa when i did a show mm. ilifanya show ingine nikaongelea hii kitu kwa sababu obviously this is my journey yeah. in the uk yeah. and even people who had hiyo show ingine wataona this there is a lot of similar yeah. so kwa hivyo si kitu naekelea uh-huh. ni kitu yani ili happen yeah. kwa maisha yangu mm. so it's not something that i am making up so una, when i did that wei, wei. yeah amati wewe wewe no this is i yeah. I, i am over that mm. I, god took me away from all those things mm. so ile kitu nasema ni kama mm. kama mtu uh, ukichukua mtu mm. ukichukua mtu mm. amekuta na ulimwitikia mm. muweke mshikilie mpaka pale atajishi hata kikuwa mbaya aje kwa sababu mm. watu wanatoka huku wana kuja na ushamba ya Kenya mm. wana tu vitu vitu zina eh mchanue mchanue mm. nini Ka, you know mchanue tu mpaka mm. afike pale hey. kwa sababu now what happened is mm. siku moja nilitoka kole mm. ngakuta wamefunga nyu Mm. kulikuwa winter mm. kuna nyesha hiyo oh, area si poa sana mm. hata wale wiku ipo sana ni kama gedera ya huko eh yeah. na ni na ni jioni ina like a six a young lady outside by herself mm. walking up and down not safe thank god for this guy kwa sababu yeye alinipikia simu akanizo kwa poa sasa simu yangu by the way ilikuwa tu na contact yake ndipo na pamoja kama yeye ni yake kama yeye sasa kanipigia simu nikamwambia uishe niko hapa nje sijaingia kanisa kwa nini nikamwambia kwa sababu sijui wako wapi akasema una credit ngambia hata sijui credit wako wapi akanibacha ni wapigie simu kawapigia simu akasema wako mbali sana sawa walikuwa place in the bad oak mbali sana hadi na warudi hiyo simu na they never told you i didn't know sasa nikashindwa nitafanyaje kai sasa kaniambia utadu mm. ambaye sasa sijui akaniambia ukikuja St John's Wood mm. uchukue fungua nyumba yangu uende kalale mm. yeye mwenye hapo job eh alikuwa job magivo ndivyo niliolewa nilelewa two weeks uk me i got married sikupenda so zinatangwa <laughs> situation ships me in a minute check you wewe sio hapo inakimbia imeshinda kipchoge madam Africa US and the UK. Day 1 2 3 Within two weeks you're married. Even if you didn't get Just like that. Si kwa najua na olewa. I've been a proposal, been a go. Mimi sasa si kwa najua ni na olewa. Mimi nilikuwa na ta ni me niko stranded nimepoa kwa kuishi. Yeah, definitely. Sasa umepoa kwa kuishi. Chali by the way was good. Na Charlie amekuwa mzuri all along. Ana all along. Ana long yenyewe kwa na sifa poa. Tuko na simu yake. Niko na simu simu. Tumeenda nguo mango tunangara. Mpaka boots kwa hiyo nilikuwa na boots. Una rock boots. Ungeniona unge. Na sasa UK ilikuwa na figure 8 si kasa hii. Eh niko na figure 8. Kaona ana nilule mango. Kile namba kwa na shangaa ma jeans mani. Sasa naye anaona ka Jesse 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 Jesse. Anataka kasiana kana story. Akachukua tu your opportunity. Sasa zile aliingisha kwa nyumba kumbe nimeolewa. Just like that. Yes. Alafu ni when the minosen. Oh Jesus kanishi. Hata hujatumika huku umekuwa innocent kabisa. A month later born. Eh? Yes. Ah ah. Tukunya chai. This story is serious. Hmm? Hapo acha wewe kunywa ka chai. We, ima isha yako inakimbia. As by mother... January, nimefika the second of October. UK. January you are I was pregnant. Lord have. Na nilikuja kusoma. 
And my parents paid half a million. For half what? a million? Yeah, I went to the London School of Commerce. I paid 9,000. Oh, my God, they are pregnant. Yes. Fees, structure, like 9,000 a year. So, I have half. I have the paperwork. It's not a lie. Aya, tunaenda hapi? Now that we are pregnant. Utasema? You never told anyone. Never told anyone. Now, that was our, the first our, mistake. Our, our husband. I did it. You never told Never that. you let a man know. Nasisemi mm-hmm. wanaume ni wabaya. Mm-hmm. Even mwanamke yoyote. Never let them think you're helpless. Yeah. Na watu wenu cannot bail you out. Yeah. Never fear your family so much mm. that you don't tell them your failings. Mm. Your family is your family no matter, matter how what. what. So you can't Watakutetesha, mm. but wata, still. Lakini watakupenda na watasimama na wewe. Oh. The one mistake I did in a foreign land, a very mm. young girl, mm. ni kunyamaza. Chali akajua huyu ni memuweza. Aligeukia. <gasps> From kutubaya simu nini nini, aga... Aligeukia hapo. Kama roundabout. Sasa siwewe, siende kila kitu chako. Sasa shule wezi yenda, kona bowl. Mm. Haya, hii shule expensive, mm. awezi yenda tena. Uh-huh. Unaugopa kutumana nyumbani ulipiwe karu. Kwa sababu oh, memesa. Memes. Si atati kwa sababu wangejua. Uh-huh. Ni utu. Yeah. Unaona utaki mzazi wako yeah, kutumia pesa. Yes. yes. Ata kuwaza siya ti wakona hizi pesa. You saw where I come from. Siya ti they are that rich. It's yeah. just that they loved me. Yes. yes. They sacrificed. They sacrificed. So uwezi yaza sasa uwanza kutumana mm. ni wala watoto wenye hawana utu ndo ufanya wazazi wawo hivu. Yeah. Me when I realize I've messed up, I realize now from here on, I am I'm doing my life. Own. I'm on my own. <sighs> and I'm on my own and I'm pregnant. <laughs> Hai, leo sisi we are pregnant. Where do we go from here? Sasa si nika lea mimba. This guy is taking care yeah. of you. Nikiwa kitu 8 months. Mm. Sister angu ajui. Mm. Sasa hakuna mtu anajua. Sister angu ananikemea mimba tumeficha kama bae. Eh, uliniacha huku mm. au unaona vile kuko ni hadi. Sasa si uko majuu. Mimi nilifanya kazi na hiyo ball by the way. Nilipata ka kazi. Mm. Ka ku clean yes. by the way. Mimi have mm. clean. Yeah. Mi hakuna kazi sijafanya. Kile ni kwa kila lady. Naitwa Ulaya. Sasa ni upate tu ni nini na kujamazishe pia wazee. Na ndio uko unatuma kati uweze kujisustain. Na ujisustain alafu unaona weather imeanza ku change. Yeah. So ile mapenzi uko unapewa kama eh ya Simon Makonde iko. Hai Simon Makonde yeye alifaraziwa mali sio akafanya nini? Akafanya na kakufa niko na Mm. imeisha. Mm. Sasa ni unaanza ku face life. Unaona tu umemes. Yaani sijui kama uko wapo ushai mesivo. Me I want to encourage somebody. Yeah. Yes. Me I've been there where you've messed your life. Mm. Mpaka mtu akwambie ujue. Una ficha ball unaishika usijulikane. Mimi nimekuwa hapo. Na ni, nilipokuwa na natembea hiyo safari niko peke yangu Ulaya. Na niko na mwanaume anitaki. Shikili hapo kwa mwanaume hakutaki. We are taking a short break. Then we will be right back. back guys it's been hot in here well i don't know where to start madam now we are here yes bwana ni kama hatutaki tena anataka mtoto wake lakini wewe hataki eh so what do you do now bado hujaambia si, sijasema nililea ball baka mwisho ikiwa mm. 8 months stango kanipigia kaniambia ana yani ana process paper zake mmemaliza mm. yeah, ni tume eh, ni tume pesa zake za mm. ninio za kwenda abroad yes. sasa mimi niko nafikiria nakuja ndo tusaidiane mm. so my plan was kakifika mm. 
Mr. Yuga name with us tangu kakifika I think because she's slim dog ni mkubwa kuniliko she's my big sister lakini akona mwili akona kamwili kadogo sumu itakaka sa akakifika ama akifika sorry jiji mwelewe akifika ara lishani alizoea akifika tuta 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 rent tutoke kwa hii situation mbaya yes Sani siku moja akani sasa siku moja nimbe wewe shiko ni acha huku rokongo ine sijui nini nini unacho vile kwa kuwa wewe nikakamwete mimi unifanyika kitu kwamba wewe unasema hivyo unajua nina bolo eh akasema what i mean nina bolo 8 months kuli happen anaambia shiko ngombe na nikaomba ukiambia wazazi ujue utatoka huko watasema wasichana wanaenda wanachoma pesa zao wanapata mabolo so unyamaze mpaka nikutafutie sasa kwenye pilika pilika za kutafuta nikaeka 1000 pounds eh kando mm. kume na huyu huyu chali sasa tuseme bwana mm. yes. bali nilishaolewa mm. eh sasa bwanangu na yeye kumbe alishafutwa kazi na aniambi oh, no. ile pesa nilikuwa nimeweka ndio wanasema ndio tutatuta nini tutatumia na mtoto na kila kitu sasa na mimi ifika I think ilikuwa kitu 9 ilikuwa unajua ina kuanga 10 months. Yeah. Sasa mkiwa 9 months hiyo mm. 40 weeks yeah. unakuanga na 40 weeks is exactly 10 months. 10 months. Yeah. So nikikiwa 9 months sasa kabla ifike 40 weeks 40 so that's in 36 weeks. Mm. Niko ready naweza kupata mtoto wa hiyo 10. Nikaingia kole. Sasa mm. bado ile kitu nilikuja kusoma inaniingia sana. Mm. Nikaingia nikaanza kufanya something we call AVC mm. health and social care. Mm nikaingia tu na nikaingia yani lipenya huko nikamwambia mimi ana home student nikalipiwa nikaingia mm. sasa vile niliingia siku moja nilikuwa nataka kuole nikasikia tu nikajua mtoto alakuta nikajua nenda sasa na sijui sina wanawake naongeanga na wao nisijaienda mm-hmm. hii process mm-hmm. na ninajua kweli mtoto ana Yeah. Kile kilicho nisaidia me to have very bad cramps before mm. I got pregnant. Yeah. So nilikuwa na scared kama cramps mm. lakini angalau hata hizi zinaniachilia kidogo. Mm, zina. So Jale. by the way I was contracting mm. baka nikafika 6 cm nikiwa kwa nyumba. Wow. Ndio nikamwambia sasa naona kama huyu mtoto kweli atakuja. Yeah. Niliposimama tu hivyo maji. Sasa tukachukua cab tukaenda mpaka house. Niliwoka mm. walked in kama ungefikiria tena mtoto wa kwanza. Mm. I walked in my son was coming very quick mm. but nikaenda kupewa nilikuwa na complications za kwa na you know it was really complicated mm. and ended up having like a forced delivery yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But nika to oh, mtoto vizuri kajifungua katotoka kijana. Very handsome. Yes, my baby, I love him so much mm. and I thank God for his life. Mm. I thank God for who he is. Yes. And I I thank God I never rejected this boy because yeah. I could have But for me mm. he was a joy from the day I had I felt him. Mm. He was gonna console me. Mm. He was the one thing that was gonna come and be my companion yeah. and he was the one thing in this land mm. of people who have no compassion yeah. let me say yeah. who was gonna come and be my companion mm. and who was gonna love me unconditionally. unconditionally. So nilipenda mtoto wangu sana. Nikajua niwe nisiwe liwe liwalo mm. huyu hatoki hapa na simwachili nikikula mawe tutakula pamoja eh and it is that boy that made me think i'm gonna fight yeah you have to i am gonna stand i'm gonna fight and i'm mm. gonna become somebody yeah. that little boy yes. made me who i am today yes because the determination mm. to not see him suffer mm. the determination to see him through yes. made me even stay with his dad for about four years kipigo mm. sana yes the guy became now he became very violent mm-hmm. he was very possessive mm-hmm. he was very nwalo what to sitoke mm-hmm. usivae hivi mm-hmm. usivae vile uwezi nunua hata chakula kama hajasema kinunuliwe uwezi hata nunua kikombe unani alisema ununue kikombe he used to control every aspect of the home mm-hmm. he was very pro- and then baka vile unalea mtoto mm-hmm. ni yeye anasema mm-hmm. wanjiko anataka maziwa wanjiko na nishoa <laughs> Mnyenyeshe, mnyenyeshe. Sasa tulikuwa tunasubiri aende kazi tu ndio upate peace. Uh. Akirudi. Akirudi na piga simu akiwa akiwa station nyingine. Mm. Anasema wanjiko I'm on my way home niko Canning Town. Mm. Mm. Akisema hivyo, where alikuwa mtoka country gani? Ni Mkenya. He's Kenya. That's why I never married a Kenya afterwards. Is the reason. Now He Kenyans Kenya. will know why I ended up with an Ibo. So this is why That is why I ended up with Nigeria. Abad Body. Oh, that is how we got this name yes. Abad Body. So, he is Kenyan. My son's dad is Kenyan. Kenya. He's a Kikuyu man. Kikuyu. Yes. 
Your fellow mudo wa nyumba. Mudo wa nyumba. And then I behave like Dore. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know? As if you don't. Know. Jehovah. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway. So, fast forward. Now. So me nika nikaka mm. nilika sana ikakuwa too violent kafika mm. mahali ananiweka mpaka hospitali na vita yani yani napigwa wewe mimi mm. nimepigwa mimi mm. najua domestic violence mm. and i know what it's like to live with a narcissist because yeah. they never see their mistake it's always you who did mm. it yani kakuwa mpaka me have lived in that place of fear mm. where unashina ngo kiangalia ni nini umeshifanya ni nini hujafanya ni nini ni how can i make things better for him ndio si nipige eh and kucheki ni alikuwa mpaka akisema anapiga simu anasema niko unakimbia bafu eh. usafisha bafu <laughs> unaosha nyumba na unajua uko kuna mashawa na mabasta uwe yeah. uoshe bathtub mm. alafu mweke foam bath akirudi tu kujia kwa mlango mm. uchukue bag eh atoe jacket aingie bedroom na maji ziko tayari aende kaoke UK in the UK na kila kitu kwa hapo ni hata jifanya hata mm. ni shower tu anaweza mm. aoge alafu akute akute hot meal Alafu mimi nimeishi ya maisha ya kwa mka 5 mpike mm. ugali kwa sababu ndio ametabani 5 na alafu mkalisha hapa kule breakfast na wewe uko na mtoto mdogo utakuamsha mm. na unaenda college by then nilirudi nikakuja ukaenda na college eh, na siku sema nina mtoto nilikuwa mm. na mtoto mpaka akiwa 9 months ndo ndo mamangu ndo huyu akaona akasema kwani hawa wazazi wao wako na waokopaji mimi mm. hotel mm. akaenda kwa maboots kwa hizo tulikuwa tunafanya international calls kwa kwa mabooth mm-hmm. eh akaenda akapiga na akuniambia alitoka tu kwa nyumba hapo akaenda na mtoto na bagi akaenda akapiga akasema my name is so and so mm-hmm. and i live with your daughter so and so mm-hmm. and we have a nine month child imagine mamangu ali mamangu ni muza ati mesema nani nani na ungeanga na yeye kila wakati hajawahi hajawahi sasa madhi aliumwa mm-hmm. anasema yani mtoto wangu amelea boy paka akazi kwani nilikosea wa Mm. I, nataka niambie mtu mm. uko hapo mm. familia kwa hizi kuacha nataka kusisitiza mm. watu wengi hawawezi kukutupa usifikirie watu wa nje ndio wazuri kuliko familia yako yeah, hata wakuwe wazuri yaje hakuna oh, damu hapo mm. your family is your family so madangu akamwambia ambie wanje kwa nipigie mm. nikakaa tena mpaka the following year another six months zipigi opiki bado auko ready Ah siko ready kwa meni me wa disappoint. Mm. So nili so one year disappointed yeah, even. I disappointed yourself. myself. Mm. Yes. And I wasn't um naturally I'm a bright person school mm. and everything. Yeah. So I needed to 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 get an education. Yeah. And that's why I was there. And that's why my parents took me there because I'm the bright child. Yeah. So alafu me wa disappoint yani kuliko ta wa we. First mean. week, two yeah. weeks, one two month. Two weeks, one month, everything gone. Oh. Mimi nilikuwa inenanga rapid na mimi vitu zangu huenda hivyo by the way. Rapid. I've seen how it happened. Yeah, rapidly. Mm-hmm. So, mimi nika ndo nikakaa and then I decided okay, I'm going to go back to school. Yeah. So, nilisoma nikafanya Mungu akanibariki nikaingia access to nursing mm-hmm. supernaturally. Nikaingia nikisani ni change from faculty from business administration mm-hmm. and IT nikaacha hata hiyo shule kwa sababu hata siwezi afford nikaigilia na healthcare Health. and in the UK healthcare even in the diaspora healthcare is what pays yeah. cuz it's it's non stop it's 24 hours yes. you never not have a job mm. so sasa si nina mtoto mm. i have to say to them lazima nikuwe na job ambayo itanilelea huyu mtoto kwa sababu ninaona huku nitatoka yes. ninaona tu mm-hmm. so, I've accepted this was a situationship mm. na huwezi ishi situationship forever, forever. kutafika yeah. mahali utoke so mm. amenivukisha zile hiyo jancha nilikuwa nataka kuvukishwa mm. but now it's time to start thinking about my life yes, so yeah. nikaingia shule mm. nikasoma kwa baraka za Mungu mm. and then i got a scholarship from the city London city university mm. supernaturally mm. so nikaingia nasi wow. ended up doing um, a degree advanced nas, mm. uh, advanced um, degree mm. in science mm. ngakuwa nas so say you were in nas mini registered nurse yes. uh-huh. whatever oh yeah I, i i deal with critical care and accident in emergency uh-huh. yes kwa kwa na accident kidrai sisi mamangi nilembwa na kitao ni sasa hizi mama kitao tena kwa ni nurse kwa sababu sasa mimi ni mtu ka hizo trauma na whatever ai lakini akanembea kuwa kusimama eh 
Uh, you so make your now own. after this journey, because it's a it. very long one, and it's long and, 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 the sugar and all that. Now here we are. Mm. When did we start singing? So, two thousand and eight, mm. I gave my life to Christ. Oh, fine. Yani journey yote umetembea peke yako bila Jesus. Nilikuwa na Catholic Jesus. Oh, ulikuwa na Mary Mother of Jesus. Kila mtu kwa na Yesu. Ulikuwa na Mary Mother of Jesus. Wote walikuwa. So ulikuwa unasema salamu Maria. Umeona mimi unajua nimeelewa Catho kule ndani. Yes. So nilikuwa mtu wa Catho sana na Catho uomba by the way. Because me I know my prayers. Prayers zangu zilikuwa zinasikika na yeah. yeah. unajua. Mm. So lakini sasa kiroho. Mm. Unajua kuna Catholic mm. na kuna za mitaratara mm. sasa za kiroho. Yeah. Sasa mimi hata sikuwa hii fikiria nitawe ingilia kiroho. Mm. Sikuwa naipenda. Mm. Magi sikuwa naipenda hiyo robo la shaka na la basi. Na sasa hivi nyendo. Na mimi ndio boy. <laughs> Now so you received Christ. A man of God called Pastor Muhoro mm. came to Mashakaya. Mm. Mashakaya ni maomba ule zile. Eh, yeah. Akakuza akakuta msichana anaimba. Mm. Akanipenda sana. Mm. Lakini aliona mbeku ndani yangu. Mm. Akataka kuikimbisha. Na kuna watu wameumbwa mm. they really go after. They are the ones that God use mm. to go after the one. Mm. Una understand? Yeah. And me I was the one. Kwa sababu mm. unajua nimeenda through the domestic violence. Imeenda through a lot of trauma. Yes. Vile nilivuka tu hivi 2004 niliingilia ma club. Oh. Sasa sindo nimejua niko maju yeah. nina vena za vashi kama alafu nikajua niko well in doubt. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Mungu amekuumba Nime... atope <laughs> eh kwa peni. Sasa si ni kuingilia ma club. Mm. Mimi nilikuwa mwenyeji. Nilikuwa mpaka na corporate na mkads. Wewe ndio unajua wale madem pool ma club, yes. pool machali. Yes. Una kazi yako ni kuonekana Eh wewe una shida kwa dance floor mm. uki dance una dance tu lingala mm. watu wana vocal tana tana na nilijua hiyo ndio strategy ya clubs yeah. nachukua ma demo supu na ka strategically mm. sasa inakuanga hii club kwa wewe hata unaanga shughuli nao machali kazi yako ni dance mm. toke we uende nikaingilia ma club ma club lakini kuna na maisha yangu si nzuri yeah na feel kuna ni na kitu mm. alafu kama uko na mbegu ya Mungu ipote yangu na nafikiri mimi nilikuwa mbegu tangu nizaliwa yes. yani Mungu alikuwa ashani chagua mm. so ilikuwa yani haiwezi potea mm. yani kuna vile nitashikwa tu kwa yeah. sababu nilikuwa na tumi watu sana nini alafu mamangu mm. alinilea kiyesu mm. biblia naijua yote okay. sasa mimi akakuta ku preach alipokuja ku preach akakaa sana na sisi sasa wenye amekuja ku preach ukisikia pastor ameitwa mahali hawana mm. pastor wao wow, unjua mm. ni watu aina gani mm. sasa amekuja kusaidia tu kwa sababu umekufa <laughs> sisi sisi hatuko maombolezi sisi tumekuja bash sasa ndio subiri au pastor anaweza kabi to dance huyu pastor aende 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 mimi wanjiko nikachoka nikamwambia ruwe umekataa kwenda mm. atukunyu kwa vikombe tena mm. tutaleta hapa tawe ukitakuchukua ako ameniangalia tu hivi aongea shukuna jo umeitwa na Mungu eh wewe atawechukua mzinga mkuu tuongeza Yesu nikamfungulia proverbs 31 namfungulia na mwambie tumembe tukunywe ndio hii biblia anaambia wewe unafungua mabiblia hivi wewe wewe mbebe unaijua hiyo yote lakini kukunywa unakunywa kushida mimi niko niko raha zangu na I'm enjoy alafu I'm hurt mm. I'm angry yeah, you're bitter. I'm bitter mm. life hao nilikuwa nataka iende haikuenda hivyo mm. yani mimi nimelewa like with a silver spoon in my mouth na mimi ndio watu wananidharau watu wananifanya wana yani vile uko sasa upendeki na unajijua yeah. hata wewe mwenye uko huko unakunywa unafanya nini unafanya madhara you, know. you know deep inside when you go to sleep when you just by yourself ukijita kamkutano kuna vile unasikianga ndani yako na mimi nilikuwa hapo nikiwa kwenye peke yangu nimejita kamkutano mm. ninajua this is not the life God I gave want. me this is not the life my parents wanted for me mm. God wanted something better for me I knew mm. alafu nilikuwa napenda sana muziki ya gospel sa kwa gari yangu muziki mm. ya gospel na ukieka anything else na simamisha gari toka Shuka. kwa gari yangu kwa kuchezi lakini kwa kukunywa na mimi ndio driver yao na mimi ndio kuanga na motives tunaenda tunaenda <laughs> mimi ndio kuwa na motives <laughs> So general right. manager of the club is <laughs> waziri wa kujua mashimo sasa haya <laughs> <laughs> waziri akapokea Yesu fine sasa mimi pastor boro no this is how he did mm. aliniona akaona mbegu yangu akachukua namba yangu mm. 
akaishi kunipigia simu he kept on following akaishi kunipigia simu mm. saa zingine natoka kazini ndio huyu mzee aiko nyu namuuliza why did you do this mpaka nikaacha kumuogopa na muuliza unataka ni what you want what you want anaambia mimi nataka uokoke mimi nataka tu poke akarudi kanisa kwao akamwambia there is a girl with the seed of god mm. nao tutaishi kumuombea niliombewa na kanisa chungu nzima kwa prayer item plus shiko wow. and i thank him for that wow plus shiko wakaomba na hakuna maombi kupotelea mm. let me tell you the prayer of a righteous man, man. availeth man. much and the expectations of a righteous man will never, be, will never cut be cut short so this man was standing in the gap yes na watu wengi hatustaki ana tupendi ku stand in the gap yes. hiyo ni kukufa kimwili unaondokea umwili wako unaondokea utu wako unasema mungu niweke kwenye gap yes. nitapigania yes. niachane na mashida zangu sitaki yes. mashida zangu yeye yes. alikuwa nazo chungu nzima akaacha zake akamwambia akasema huyu mpaka watu wanamuuliza kwani huyu alikufika wapi anasema this girl must get born again and finally how many years later ai ai ku ai ku kasa sana mm-hmm. ai maombi kama hizo wazizi zitakupiga <laughs> <laughs> mako shangaa ukienda okay, kukunywa pombe inakuwa mazizi hata saa zingine ndio kwa nenda nenda out nikienda kukunywa ndio huyu pasta namuuliza ni nikike kai nikike umekuja kufanya nini huko anaambia i came to preach to you wewe endelea kukunywa wewe kunywa mimi naongea sasa utakunywa hauwezi namwambia pastor huko siko mtu kawe acha nikupe heshima basi twende ananichukua na nirudisha kwa nyumba oh. anaenda zake mm. he loved me hamu yako ya pastor moro inaisha nikaanza kuona upendo wa ye wa yesu wacha tukue barua ambayo inaweza someka let your life be an example to mm. many mm. kwa sababu honestly yeah. me that man showed me love yeah na iko love that you can love uh-huh. ilikuwa upendo agape love ilikuwa upendo wa Mungu oh. sasa kuna wanaomba mm. siku moja mimi nikaanza nikamwambia let me come to that your church mm. niangalie tu sasa mimi nenda kafika wakakuona wewe ndio ule shiko kwanza sasa nakuja mimi nimevaa kidunia mm. nimevaa va eh 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 sasa unataka mimi nimezoea mshikuo mm. wa mama <laughs> yes <laughs> na sasa nimejaribu by then nililiva niliva jeans jeans na nikavaa shati vizuri nini naona mimi niko tu kwa sawa yeye yeah, niko sawa nilikuwa mpaka naona nimejaribu sasa nilikuwa nimejaribu yeye yeah, nilikuwa nimejaribu but yani watu wa kwanza yani ikakuwa yani pia anapikana na vita zangu za manguo yeah. anatumaniwa nini na kukaa kukufa roho but hakukiva hapo hakukiva hapo me he never mm. even till today is my father is mm. ah we are very close we best friends mm. anakuanga very proud of what i have become now yeah. So nikaendelea hivyo ni siku moja tukaenda tukaenda tukafanya harusi ya sasa mdogo wake mm. by the way mdogo wake brother yake mm. he is a patron of Natamani Ministries oh, wow. so it's a family that ilinishikilia sana wow. alipoenda kufanya harusi we are the same age akafanya harusi nikaona ile upendo hiyo kanisa na tukua wengi wako nayo sasa nikaanza kuona upendo wa Mungu. Yeah. Yaani kwa Mungu ni kuna raha, mm. kwa Mungu atakushikilia. Hata muwe watano, mm. by the way there is a big force when people of God come together and say they will do something. Really? It always happens. Mm. It always happens mm. and it happens in such a beautiful way. Yeah. Kwa sababu pia kuna maombi mm. sio tu kifedha, mm. kuna maombi kuna kumsubiria Mungu. So kuna oh, yani a force Yeah. that is coming in this mm-hmm. unajua mungu sema if you open your spiritual eyes and see the army behind you yeah. you will be shocked mm-hmm. so kuna hiyo army yenye inashikilia ngapo hata ukiwa tano watu wa mungu anaweza kufanya kitu msingi mm-hmm. mshangae yes. so that is exactly what happened kwa na upendo wa mungu ni hiyo hiyo sunday the following sunday si ilikuwa sato hiyo mm-hmm. sunday pa, uh, pasa kani mekuja kufanya worship nikafanya worship like i never sasa nimeanza ku break yeah nikafanya alinipenda mpaka nilikuwa kwa present worship na sijao kwa mchoko eh hey, anapigwa ai lakini anasema huyu atoki atoki si yes, mwachi si mwachi kwanza ameingia kanisa mm. hata amunipikia mm. wapi mjui mm. kwenye nimemtoa am dream ni mjua yeah. kwa huyu atoki mm. ataka aende hizo vilabu zake na nini lakini arudi pa hapa hapa hata hata mkiwe muona wapi msiwe muuliza tu wapi kujeni muuliza ni mm. that is how he was we need such that is, you, we need fathers like those I honor him. Wow. I honor him. I usually say alisema nikibarikiwa sana. Mm. Si si nothing itamnunulia gari. Mm-hmm. Ni 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 huduma. Mm-hmm. Na ninaambia Mungu nifikishe hapo siku moja nipatie. Yeah. 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 Yes, nimpatie kifungo nimwambie daddy yeah. I honor you. Mm-hmm. 
go. I honor you for what you did and I know God will do it. And now mm. after receiving Christ. Nikaokoka hiyo sande. Sasa alafu nikarudi nyumbani kona nimekosea. Singeokoka. Oka change my up up nikampigia naomba I changed my mind. Hii kuokoka ni kasta yake. Hii kuokoka ishiki. Your name is one of drama. Ati nini? Hii kuokoka ishi. Eh staki. Hautaki. Hapana. Akaniambia ruhu ule uwekae. Mm. Usijali na ku ati ujeokoka. Mm. Si ulisema sina spray nikamwambia ndio. Shikilia sina spray baki nayo. Baki nayo. Mm. Usiwahi fika mahali useme ume backslide. Mm-hmm. You and your nonsense. Mm. Enda na sina spray. Hiyo koka. Mm. Hauja utawahi toka kuokoka. Uta u... Ukienda ukunywa pombe bado umeokoka. Ambia watu umeokoka. Mm. Na ukienda tu ufanye nini ama ufanye nini. Wewe wanjiko umeoko. Na kwanza ni wale watu sema and that is fine. Mm. I know. Nikamwambia kuna kuokoka kai wakaniambia inaitangwa working out your salvation with the fear. With the fear and what? Trembling. Wewe ujaza kutrembu usijali. <laughs> Itafika. <laughs> na mimi namwambia guy kuna kwa 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 hivyo eh. na alikuwa mpaka anaambia huyo msana wako anaimba anaimba na nilikuwa naimba watu wanaokoka yeah. huyo msana wako anaimba tulimuona sijui okay, touch yeah. sijui tulimuona mm. anaambia bado ameokoka mm. usijali alikuwa ameenda ku preach <laughs> <laughs> na ni ukweli nilikuwa na leo na preachia ba na preachia ba mzima na preachia na preachia hata wale walikuwa wananipenda na kuambia vile Mungu ni mzuri nini nikatembea Yeah. Nikatembea na wokovu. Si nimebo nimeokoka kia yeah. nguvu. Nikatembea na wokovu. Nikatembea na wokovu. Mm. Nikaanza saa kuchunjwa na Yesu. Mm. Yesu mwenyewe akaanza kuchunjwa. Ah, sasa Holy Spirit akaona huyu nikimwachilia, huyu tutampoteza. Nitaenda ni kama nimepenya nirudi duniani kabisa. Mm. Hii sina spray card ikakuwa haina. Sasa unajua Satan is accuser of the brethren. Mm. Sana ni accuse sana. Yeah. So ikakuwa kwa sababu hiyo sina spray anani accuse akona right akona legal right mm. za kuni accuse eh huyu anasema ameokoka alikuwa kwangu huyu alimesema amekosa nikakuwa nina ninachanga moto nyingi kwa maisha yangu yeah. aziishi mm. nikaanza kunyenyekea mm. sasa siku moja nikaanza ku break kitu ya kwanza niliambia Mungu aliondolee nilimwambia niondolee pombe pombe yes mm. na aliniondolea na uchungu mwingi sana mm. lakini aliniondolea mm at the end of the day siku hizi nikaangalia pombe kutetemeka. Mm. Siwezi kusa. Hata ikufanyi. Hata mfanyi am toti toto. We call it titoto. Mm. I'm completely totally delivered. Delivered from, from any addiction. Yes. yes. Cuz when he said taking the addictions away cuz there were many mm. sisters mentioned zote yeah. zilikuwa nyingi. Yeah. Aliniondolea zote completely and then he started molding me mm-hmm. and then that's when i started hearing now the holy spirit ana ingia sana mm-hmm. ana niongelesha sana mm-hmm. so i have so many examples of things that i was delivered by the holy spirit mm-hmm. vitu ana niongelesha mm-hmm. na ingia kanisani naambiwa vitu za watu na, na nikaenda ku worship mm-hmm. naona vitu sasa nikaanza kuelewa hii maisha mm-hmm. this is what he was waiting for yeah. so nikaingia kabisa mm-hmm. 2016 mm-hmm. ndo nianza kuandika muziki kaanza kupa nyimbo. Sasa nikaanza kukua na hiyo hamu. Yeah. Nilikuwa sana sana sina haja mm-hmm. kwa sababu sina naimba za Yunis Injeri yeah. na ninaziimba vizuri. vizuri. Naimba za Ruth wa Moyo, mm-hmm. za Sera, mm-hmm. Kiari. Mm-hmm. Na ninaziimba vizuri. Nilikuwa okay. I was one of the most sought after mm-hmm. um, worship leaders in the UK. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa kawa sana watu hivyo we very sought after. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa miss na story. Mm-hmm. Niko sawa. Kama kuimba unaimba. Kama ni kuimba naimba tu. Mm. Wakikuza kina Yunis so Injeri wakikuza mimi ndo nafungulia floor. Mm. Sasa mimi niko okay. Uko sawa. Kumbe ninafaa niandike zako sasa. Zangu sasa. Mm. So that's when I met Zangi mm. and we started writing the music. Mm. And the rest is history. Super producer Zangi. Zangi. Yes. Yes. He's done a good job. He is really doing well. Which was your first song? Natama. Tuliandika a song called nitakuwa bararia mm. but then zangi felt stoke na hii ah toka na song ita itashika kila mtu yeah, 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 yeah exactly mm. so the first song by then nilifanya mm. i did the collab malumalu mm. yeah that's another story for mm. another day yes. lakini kaingilia malumalu mimi ndio nime introduce mm. that one no is true Mm, it's low ya. Tinge Yesu malo. Mm. Lakini kuna da gado shida shito. Oh, you did. Tumeka tume African rendition. Kenglish. Ah. Tunaitanga Kenglish. Yeah. Kila kitu. So, have you faced challenges since you started singing? 
let's say uh, the changa moto was not part of the UK mm. ni to lack of recognition yes um unaona uko na upako mm. na uko na uko na kibali mm. as in alafu uko si hata kibali kwa sababu kibali ni Mungu kupatia mm. uko na hiyo you have the capability yes you you're singing good mm. and you're singing to a caliber where mm. really people should know yeah. that you exist but our shikanishi our lord you need somebody to put you in the line mm. yeah you need to penya you need to get there mm. so hiyo ni one of the things that diaspora musicians mm. face unajua mm. ukitokelezea mm. ushike mm. na ukupata mtu wa kushika mkono mm. ikishavuma inavumanga dunia yote ni mzima kwa sababu wa Kenya wako kila mahali yeah, yeah, yeah they are everywhere their yeah, and they support their own mm. lakini sasa kama unaimba una UK mm. sasa unajulikana UK mm. lakini na huko Kenya nao na unaimba nyimbo za kikuyu eh. unaimba nyimbo za Kiswahili mm utavukaje mm. you have to start from here mm. charity begins at home yeah, yes yeah and apart from singing mm. there are other things you do here yes i preach mm. um on mondays mm. uh on youtube and uh facebook yes. and obviously i have a page called chico bag body ministries on facebook as well mm. I'm, on, i'm on instagram as yes. well yeah. i'm on i'm on tiktok mm. i'm not on twitter <laughs> tiktok she, she, she doesn't know if she's there yeah, i am there Mm. Eh, ad, 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 nimefika kule just give <laughs> that one <laughs> sorry tutaingia tu <laughs> tuko yeah, Kenya tuko. response imekuwa aje it's been Kenya has loved me i don't know whether the people the the the, the when i told it was our mashabik mm. sio kama wamenishika ba, vizuri bado but, uh, but the ministers the the bishops mm. uh, the men of god mm. have really received me well mm. and uh, obviously the radio station yes. is it women receive vizuri na shukuru mungu mm. eh hiyo mm. mm. kwa sababu hiyo si kitu mtu anaweza fanya yeah, honestly hiyo ni mungu yeah. so i'm waiting for the <coughs> mashabik okay. yeah. wow nataka response nataka sana response ya mashabik uh, for now you are around from the kidogo yes. if people want to look for you wa kutafuta because shiko has a story and a uh, If you want to host her here we should host her for one week non stop <laughs> for us for her to be well yeah nimekata stories amekata sana chenya metupe ni quarter yeah but she is a wonderful person a wonderful minister she is and she is a mother she is a friend she is a sister uh she's she's been around for a very short time and i've already seen her mother and father and i took oshoro <laughs> you guys have to know so <laughs> tell people where they can find you and maybe there is a, an artist who wants to give up mm. there is a woman mm. maybe a economist mm. and they are thinking mm. what will happen what will yeah. people say mm. talk to them i will address the narcissist mm. narcissistic mm. issue yeah and i i i am speaking about this from a very humble place yes because i've gone through it mm. and i have lived it mm. and my friend that 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 guy will never change and if you're a guy and you have a narcissistic woman mm. they will never change mm. it's a disease and a, not unless it's addressed mm. it can never stop and narcissism mm. tortures you mm. and enjoys torturing you mm. the only option new talk nasiambi watu watuke manyumba Mm-mm. kama Mungu amekupa uwezo wa kuvumilia mm-hmm. vumilia mm-hmm. lakini kama huna mm-hmm. usikae utakufa mm-hmm. me by the time i left that i was in that marriage for about four years mm-hmm. i was already hyperventilating unasikia roho inaenda kwanza ukimsikia kwa mlango mm-hmm. and i was a very young girl mm-hmm. nikoko nikiwa 23 24 mm-hmm. so unaona ningekaa ni singekuwa alive mm. sai ningekuwa na ningekuwa alive ningekuwa na mos, na magonjwa ma hypertension manini dizi na kuanga kwa sababu anakuekanga na uoga mm. mbaya sana mm. Mba, ile uoga unakuanga naye mm. ni kibao mm. so that is what cause and the narcissists they blame they do the blame game yeah. akifanya kitu anatafuta nani alimfanya afanye hicho kitu mm. hawakuangi na accountability you are there and you're going through that kind of a marriage mm. please angalia whether you sort god vizuri mm. before you enter that marriage because yeah. saa zingine hata sisi tuliingililia marriage zenye zikuwa ze, ze, zetu ze. ama situation iliku force mm. yeah repent and uambie mungu pole mm. ni situation ilinifanya niingie mm. sasa nioneshe nji, njia mm. another thing mm. we worry about what the society will what say, say. 
We worry about what your parents will say. Yes. We worry about what your siblings will say. Mm. You worry about your status quo. Mm. Yes, you worry about your status in the society. Mm. My friend, those are irrelevant mm. when you're suffering. And let me tell you something. Those people who think you are full mm. or you are enough when you're married, mm. yeah? Mm. When you die, mm. watakuzika wakisikitika. There is a musician who died the other day, mm. yeah, from Nigeria. Mm. This is the time people are talking about. And she's already dead. And they knew that she was going through this. Mm. And they knew why she stayed. Mm. She stayed because had she not been married, all the endorsements would have been taken away from yeah. her. Yes? I know of a woman of God who is losing out so much, even uh, endorsements from churches yeah. that she works for, programs that she plans for them, because mm. I may decide, yeah, yeah, hata ishi na narcissistic mm. pa person. Partner. Yeah, partner. Society in general, mm. wa cheni kweka wanawake hivu. Yeah. Ama wanaume wana wanaendelea. Wana. Eh, kwa sababu it goes both ways. Mm. Wacha mtu akiacha, aache. Na wenye ameachwa, mm. aachike. Mm. Kwa sababu wanakufuatanga by the way, hao wanaume, narcissists. Even after you've left them, they're following you. Wanakufanyanga wana wana vitu. Mimi, it took me 10 years for him to let go. And if I tell you that the ile degree niliene no niache, mm. aachane na mimi aache kunifatha. Mm. It was really a journey. Yeah. yeah. They, he didn't just, the ile skunditoka kwa ke, yo siyo aliniacha. Uh -huh. Alinifatilia. Mm. Mm. Especially kama umetoka na watoto wake, wanatumia nga baka watoto kukusukumia. Mm. Angaisha. Yeah. Na hakusaidi. Mm -hmm. By the way, they don't help. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, but at a fatigue, what to Angu, Nani will go, Nani mm -hmm. is you know, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So, this woman can suffer for a long time. Yeah, Uki toka toka no si pay an affording mm -hmm. address. Yes. Go and look for yourself first. Mm -hmm. Now, Dafte Mungu, mm -hmm. look for yourself as a child of God. Yes. Mjuan and a Mungu. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu Mkijuan and a Mungu, at a condition your sense of rejection in your Mekua Nayo. Kwa sababu wana kuingishanga kwa rejection, mm -hmm. ata kondoleo kuwari about society, yes. kwa sababu society ita kuaccept. Let mm -hmm. me tell you, child of God, when God comes in, mm -hmm. society had, has no choice mm -hmm. but to accept. So look for yourself mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. eh? Can I give you an illustration? Mm -hmm. There was a donkey that carried Jesus into Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. And when it was carrying Jesus, it thought that it, yeye yeah, ndelikuwa napiwa heshima. Donkey likuwa nafikiria ni wawa naikea nini? Perfect. Kumbe ni yesu walikuwa na heshimi. Mm -hmm. Alipo ondokea, vila yesu walitoka tu kwenye yu donkey. That's when he got off the donkey, mm -hmm. the donkey was no longer getting the accolades from people. Yes. Kumbe ika realize mm -hmm. ni yesu walikuwa. Kwa hivyo pia wewe, wacha yesu wakupandili, mm -hmm. utapeka heshima. Mm -hmm. Si mwanaume anakupea heshima, Amen. ama mwanamuke. Amen. Ni mungu atakupa heshima. Ni mungu atakufanya watu wakupe heshima. Amen. Amen. I got nothing to add. My English has changed. <laughs> <laughs> this has been music stories. Today we had a pastor, a nurse. Uh, she has 150 titles. So, guys, it has been nice. And if you're there and you're going through something, you have no reason to give up. Mm. Hold on to Jesus. Yes. Kama tu ukona narcissist. Just, achana na narcissist. End of Jitafuta, even if you pass here, say, look for yourself now. Mm. Don't look for validation from yes. people. Mm. One of them, they will always talk. Mm. Just talk to God, mm -hmm. pray. Some of us are here. Ukikufa, on the watakua. Ukikufa, sisi, tutakua kwanza kupost photo, mm -hmm. to send me rip, and that is it. But God will always see you through. Some of us are here. We are testifying mm. of God's doing. Yes. We got married when we are 18. She mm -hmm. was 19. Mm. And we are here. Yes. God is using us to restore lives mm. and to just speak lives into people's lives. That's it. God, I will bless. Mm. Now, until the see you again next Sunday. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>